What's good? We back with the Boxing Clinic and more. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. Y'all know what it is. Look out for the live stream we got coming up in about an hour or two after I drop this video. Um, don't know what the subject going to be. Could be some more Keith Thurman talk. But uh, Sean Porter basically uh, said, well, he did say the boxing scene uh, in an article I'm going to link in the description. Uh, for people that don't know, I always link articles to the description when we talking about factual articles i don't do clickbait you know if it's a rumor i'm gonna let you know it's a rumor and if i don't have a good source on the rumor hard source then i just won't put one in there and then later on you know then we we'll come back and address it so for everybody new or who don't know uh but sean porter says that basically keith thurman end up pulling out his fight because he couldn't fight no couldn't find anybody easy enough to fight on may 19th and you know most of the guys they they know the boxers they hear the backstories they know a lot more than we do you know, you, they know a lot what's going on, especially when they, they share the same advisor slash manager and they're under the same PBC umbrella with Al Heyman. And maybe that is true. Maybe Sean, you know, really thinks it's fact that Keith Thurman pulled out the fight because he couldn't find an easy opponent. And uh, maybe it was because the networks wouldn't, you know, wouldn't approve none of the opponents that he wanted. And it may be, he may be waiting for Victor Ortiz to heal. That's just one of my... You know, my educated guess is right there. He may be waiting on Victor Ortiz to fully heal. And I think that's ultimately who he wanted to fight. You know, but Victor Ortiz suffered a, a hell of a cut. And also, another theory of mine is that he only want to fight once this year again. He's going to do a tune-up and then worry about next year. So he's prolonging this whole situation and stretching it out. And, um, you know, making Sean and Danny uh, uh, fight or, or wait. And they want Danny and Sean to do an interim title belt. They, tr about, they tried that shit last year. When Keith Thurman was injured and Danny Garcia didn't want no parts of it. So, you know, they could just strip Keith and make him the interim guy in waiting and get the belts to Sean and Danny to make for the better good of boxing. You know, they give it to Sean and Danny. But they won't do that. You know, somebody said by per WBC rules, they can't strip an injured fighter. WBC makes their rules on, on the go, like the commenter said. So anything is possible that they want to get done. But Sean has been feeling real greasy and real grimy. And real irritated, man, by waiting around for Keith Thurman. You know, like I always say, it's always an open door policy. You can go down to, you know, Dallas, Texas and, and, and fight Earl Spence. Him or Danny. They don't want that. They want to wait around for, for Keith Thurman. If it, it might be even two years before you get a shot at Keith Thurman. A whole nother year. But they willing to wait. You know, they willing to, to fuck their money up and wait. So bad that they scared Earl Spence. Oh, no, not Earl Spence. And imagine if they do get those two titles off of Keith Thurman. They ain't going to try to unify with Earl Spence. Real shit, they not. So I mean, we holding our breath on a whole situation that that's diff that's difficult. You know, people waiting on an undisputed welterweight champion, but we already talked about about a month ago that there's never been an undisputed welterweight champion that held the WBO belt. So that's something that 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 hasn't happened. And with Bob Barham in the mix, and even with Al Heyman and his own premier boxing championship fighters, okay, in the mix, they can't even make the fights we want to see with PBC. They can't even make Keith and Keith and Earl. So how can we help? How how can we count on, you know, him mixing with Bob Barron and getting us an undisputed champion? You can't. And Sean feeling some type of way saying Keith is you know waiting for you know an easier opponent or or he didn't fight because it was an easy opponent. Yeah, I mean shit. Have we seen any X rays or had any medical medical documents on Keith Thurman when he got in the, uh, the car accident to push the Sean Porter fight back? There was no you know no police report. There was no documents given. You know, the elbow, we've seen the elbow injury, he showed it, okay. So where's these hand injury uh, x-rays? Honestly, you know, did the WBC get them or did it, you know, the x-ray, you know, packet they sent to the WBC has some cash in it and a check in it from Keith Thurman, the state champion. You got to look at stuff like that. Boxing is a real greasy game. There's a lot of really greasy individuals out here as well, walking everyday life. And don't think boxing is any different. It's a business. When white collar got into, white collar business got into boxing, you know, really like they have and really tore the sport up, you know, you just, you just going to have to just be patient, you know, very, very patient. And with Keith, I mean, he be able to do what he want to do now, man. He's comfortable. He's shooting the fight one time a year for because he one time keep Thurman. And, you know, he ain't representing for the light skin brothers too well. You know, each each time each injury go by, this is looking worse and worse on him. You know, and then, you know, at one point, it, it, with all this inactivity, I, I expect him to outgrow the weight class, to be honest. I really do. I really do expect him to outgrow the weight class, and that'll be his excuse. It's something that's coming with Keith Thurman. Is it maybe the top-ranked rumors? 
may it be, you know, he might outgrow the weight class, or maybe, you know, it's going to be some bullshit, man, some bullshit, and WC ain't going to strip him, W ain't going to strip him, so we just, you know, it's just a log jam at the top of the, at the top of the, uh, the list, man, at the top of the division, it's like a constipated log jam, and do I feel bad for Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, absolutely not, I feel bad for the fans, I do, I don't feel bad for them, because they can go easy, go over there and fight Earl Spence, but they don't want that shit, man. This is a different breed of people out here today, man. It really is. You know, the grade of people is dropped. You know, as far as integrity, as far as, you know, just being rock solid, you know, stepping up, being trill. Ain't too many trill dudes in the world no more, especially in boxing. These new dudes make the old school guys look like gladiators. We gone.